a painting or a picture portrait? TRT World's Miriam Francois went in search of the answer. Let's take a look at what she found. Painting or picture portrait? The latest exhibition at Tate Britain aims to play precisely on this line. It focuses on the dynamic dialogue between British painters and photographers from the birth of the modern medium to the blossoming of art photography. Spanning 70 years, the exhibition brings together nearly 200 works, cleverly showcased to highlight the mutual influences between the art forms. This piece, entitled The Disruption Portrait, captures the essence of the exhibition. The painter has depicted each individual character based on a photograph, and hidden within the piece is a homage to the interplay between the two mediums. The piece was 23 years in the making and features over 450 faces, including many people of note from the Victorian era. The showpiece by David Octavius Hill is the first painting to draw from photographs and is being shown alongside some of the originals that inspired it. The exhibit features iconic pieces such as John Everett Millay's The Woodman's Daughter as well as Dante Gabriel Rossetti's portrait Cameron's Call, tracing just how significant the conversation between photography and painting were to the artistic achievement of the Victorian and Edwardian era. The exhibition runs from May 11th till the 25th of September 2016. Miriam Francois, TRT World, London. Last on Showcase, we talked about Photo London in detail, possibly this year's most important photography event. Today, we take a look at a stunning exhibition taking place at Tate Britain until the 25th of September. It celebrates the spirited conversation between early photography and British art. To find out more, we will talk to the travelling exhibitions manager of Vasari.com, Jenny Judova. She joins us now from our TRT World London studios. Hello, Jenny. This Hi. exhibition is dedicated Hi. to, hello, <laughs> celebrating the conversation between <laughs> early photography and British art. How did photography and painting affect each other in the 19th century? Well, it's an incredibly hard and complicated question, really. Yes. Uh, the short answer is greatly. They've influenced each other greatly. And uh, the Tate Britain exhibition, Painting with Light, actually does a fantastic job at showing that relationship in a nutshell and zooming in on the most important points. So the exhibition starts with 1839, the year photography is born, and first shows, uh, shows the first timid experimentations where artists use photography just as a study tool uh, uh, that would later help them paint. And uh, that relationship progresses when photographers start experimenting. And it's no longer about taking detailed photographs that will then become paintings, but actually composing imaginary worlds. So creating scenes from Shakespeare and from different plays, from literature. And then halfway through the exhibition, we're introduced to the rock stars of Victorian Britain, the pre raphaelites who really took photography to a new level. So they used it as a study tool, but also as a marketing tool, and actually as an art format in, of it, in itself. And the, as the exhibition continues, that relationship between art and photography also matures, and we see photography come into its own as an actual art format. Like art, it becomes influenced by fashions of the day. So it's no longer about taking accurate pictures, but it's about imitating Whistler's work or imitating Japanese prints and woodcuts that were so famous at the turn of the century. And of course, the exhibition finishes on a very optimistic message uh, by quoting uh, Fred Holland uh, Day, who said that a photographer is no longer a chemist, but a poet. So turn of the century, photography is announced to be an art form. Oh, wow, I like that quote. Well, some stunning <laughs> works are being exhibited at this exhibition. It really does make one want to see them in person. Any particular pieces that stand out for you? Yes, of course. Actually, two. 
Uh, one is probably an unorthodox choice. It's um, David Hale's uh, painting. Um, and uh, it's uh, the painting of the disruption of 1843. And it's a group portrait with 457 people in it. Now, traditionally, portraits such as this, usually the most important people in the group portrait would be incredibly detailed, and then the rest would start lacking in detail. Mm -hmm. um, now, this portrait was different because David Hill was one of the first to experiment with photography and use photographs to paint from. And uh, he took photographs of all the 457 sitters, and he created the most detailed miniature paintings of each one. So when you look at the painting, which is massive, you don't actually know where to concentrate your gaze because everything is in high definition. And it's this bizarre, er eerie experience. And uh, my second choice is actually one of the stars of the exhibition. It's um, Daniel Gabriel Rosetti's uh, Proserpine, uh, one of the most famous portraits of Jane Morizo, the muse of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Right. Well, um, would you say the two branches continue to draw inspiration from each other even today? Uh, yes, they definitely do, and um, it's since photography was introduced, it's been 177 years, and what is wow. incredible is that each generation of artists brought something new to art and to photography and to the dialogue between the two genres, so um, photography started off as an artist's tool, um, and then the Dadaists and the constructivist experimented with collage and photo montage. And then you have documentary photography uh, like Robert Frank. And then, uh, of course, Warhol experimented with photography and with screen printing. And then you have the consumer photography in the works of Jeff Koontz and Richard Prince. And of course, uh, today, uh, probably the most, in the the most interesting experimentation between art and photography is um, Alma Ulma's um, Instagram project and her Instagram performance. And now it's no longer really a dialogue between painting and photography bef because over the 177 years uh, that photography existed, other art forms appeared like video art, new media art, internet art, performance art. Right. Um, and all of these forms are continuing that dialogue and they're taking inspiration from each other and inspiring each other in return. Well, Jenny Judova from Vasari.com, thank you for joining us.